Later this month, here in Milwaukee and all across the U.S., people will be turning the country purple to create awareness for pancreatic cancer. Joining us with details this morning about the purple light is Trina Loopstore from the Pancreatic Cancer Network. Good morning to you, Trina. Good morning. So this event is coming up on September 30th. It is a vigil. Tell me about the event and why it is so important. It's the Vigil for Hope, and we're trying to raise awareness to get more people aware of pancreatic cancer. We light up, we're at the Marquette University this year, which is a different location than last year, but we're hoping to light up the campus purple. Um, we're doing it at the St. Joan of Arc Gardens, so it's gonna be outdoors, um, and we're having lights, we're gonna have refreshments. Um, it sounds like a terrific event. Yeah. And I know it's a very emotional event, too. Uh, I know you, you were mentioning to me that you lost your father from pancreatic cancer. Uh, why is it important for you to now take this step after what your family went through? When my family went through it, we didn't know um, any, anything really about pancreatic cancer. I didn't know anybody that has ever gone through it. Um, I, so now I got involved with the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network so more people can be aware of it and they don't have to be kind of put in the back burners and not know what to expect and who to reach out to if you need help or who to talk to and it's, it's nice just to have somebody to talk to about it. And I know there are a lot of people who are working really hard on pancreatic cancer research but what are the realities right now if someone does get that diagnosis? Um, right now, it's less than 5% chance for a five-year survival rate. Um, so the odds really aren't that good. We're, we're hoping to make them better. We're hoping to double our survival rate by 2020. That's like our big goal right now. When you get together at events like this vigil and you see other families that have been through this, is that encouraging to you? Does that help with the support? Yes, um, especially I started with the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network um, oh, a little over two years ago and just our Milwaukee affiliate has grown so much and just, you, I mean, you can just see from our events. We've, we do a Purple Stride in June and we had a thousand participants the first year and now we're getting close to doubling that and we're hoping even for this purple light we had a little over 100 and we're already past that number for this year and so just seeing more people reaching out and knowing of our group and where they can go and to learn about it is helping. When you're actually going through that the battling of the pancreatic cancer for families does it sometimes feel like you're all alone in that fight until you have an event like this and realize that other people are going through it also? Yes, truly. Okay. Uh, the event is coming up on September 30th, 7 p.m. at Joan of Arc Gardens in Marquette University. And if people are signing, interested in signing up, what should they do? Um, and you can go to www.purplelight.org. Um, also, the Milwaukee affiliate is on Facebook. Um, and you can go to our site and all the information is there. Um, we're asking everybody to register so we can know how many because we're going to have glow sticks that we're going to crack as names of loved ones um, are listed. So we want to make sure we have enough glow sticks and uh, refreshments and everything for everybody that's okay. coming. Trina, thank you so much for sharing your story this morning. And we will put this information for you up on our website. It is uh, Purple Light. Head to our website today, it's tmj4.com, and we'll put the links there easy for you to find.